Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mommy Mojo channel. It's Sarah, um, and today we're going to review um, a couple more Free to Baby um, products that I have used. Um, I have previously done a video on one of their other kits and their other products. So this is just more of them that I've tried <laughs> with my current obsession with the Free to Baby line. Um, so today I'm going to be uh, reviewing the Baby Sick uh, Day Prep Kit and the Quick Read uh, Rectal Thermometer. Um, I know right now with kind of this, what's kind of going on in the world right now, it's really important to have a thermometer handy, um, just so that way, peace of mind is actually really great to check your baby's thermometer rectally while they're still very young um, in the infant stage. Um, so I'll go ahead and review that one with you guys and tell you my thoughts on that, as well as their um, baby sick day prep kit that I got in my registry that I had put on there. Um, so first, we have the quick read rectal thermometer it's this little this tiny little bitty thing um, it reads in 10 seconds um, as well as the tip of the thermometer is not that long and it actually the body of the thermometer actually is a great stopper so that way it does not cause us to put the thermometer in too far and uncomfortable for baby um, it also is BPA and latex free and it also keeps the most 10 recent temperatures that you have taken for baby. So like if you have to go to the doctor, at least the last 10 of them is recorded in there if you didn't get to write them down. Um, it is great. It actually reads very nicely. Um, when he was running kind of hot a little bit, I had went to the pediatrician. I couldn't find a thermometer in the stores anywhere um, just because of what's kind of what's going on with the coronavirus. Um, thermometers are in short supply right now. Um, and you know, I asked her what would be her best pick for a thermometer and she actually said the Frida Baby and I completely forgot that they actually had a rectal thermometer that they sold. So I definitely got online and they had some available still so I ordered one, I got it through Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below as well as their website. Um, I tried it on him when I got home just because his uh, temperature was kind of sporadic when he went to the doctor but it also was because he was fussy. So uh, when I got home, I took his temperature again just to make sure he wasn't still running hot um, because I would have to go back. Um, and I ran it, he ran it great. He had normal temperature, he didn't fuss, he didn't cry. It went in just fine. Um, you know, it took his temperature in 10 seconds so the moment he started to feel uncomfortable or anything like that or didn't really like having his legs up, um, you know, I could easily pull it out and had that read in there. Um, it's a great thing as well as the tip is super flexible. So that way he's wiggling around and moving around like my little one does that he doesn't really like need to wipe the butt. Um, so having something in his little butthole, um, definitely when he was moving around, it wasn't something stiff that was inside like some of those other thermometers that are not very movable. This one is, so it's super helpful when he's being a little jiggly um, that it jiggles with him and it doesn't make him uncomfortable. That's the most important thing. So I absolutely love this thermometer. It's definitely in my pack. And as well, it comes with a really great case to keep nice and clean and sanitary after you clean him, after you use it um, in his little bum. Um, that case is helpful to put in your diaper bag to keep with you at home or wherever you store it. Great stuff. I absolutely love it. Um, so also the baby sick day prep kit. So what kind of comes in that is anything you would probably need if your little one got sick. Um, so it does come with a few things. So one of the first things it comes with is this awesome nose Frida. Um, this nose Frida is, has like this large blue cylinder and a large tube with a filter and, and for mommy or daddy to suck all the little boogies out. Um, what I like is how the applicator that goes into his nose doesn't actually go into his nose. It kind of creates a suction around it, which I thought with this it actually goes into his nose, but I'm kind of glad it doesn't because you could honestly, you know, you didn't want to hurt them. So it kind of goes into the, the top of his nose and kind of creates a suction. So when you're sucking it out, you're really sucking all them things out. Um, it was really great, especially with, um, they told me with the C-section baby that he kind of got a lot of mucus, especially when he drank milk. And that's super common for him, even super common for our regular babies that they didn't get all their fluids out. Um, so when he took his bath, we kind of took it in our bathroom with the door closed so that way it got a little bit steamy in there. Um, we kind of let the steam run before we filled up his tub with the appropriate temperature. Um, and put him in so that way the steam kind of built up and made the, his nose a little bit more runny. We had put a couple of saline drops in his nose uh, to help. As well as Frida does have a saline um, nose, I think it's 
like still the same thing, a saline nose drop, but instead it's a mist that can kind of suck in his nose to make it a little bit easier. Did not know they had that before I bought the current saline that I have. Um, but definitely when I run out, I'm definitely gonna give that one a try and then I'll give that review for you guys to see the difference between the two different salines. So that's coming in the future. Um, but with this one, when after I put the saline in there, kind of let the steam kind of roll in his nose while we were giving him his little bath. Um, and I started to notice that his, his you know, moco started getting a little bit, you know, soft. Uh, Daddy put this on his nose and sucked it out and boogers came right out. He was a little lot more clearer when he was, uh, ate afterwards, after his uh, little bath. So it was super helpful. The filter inside, um, you throw it out every single time you use it so that way, you know, it continues to stay sanitary and safe. Um, and the little one's nose. Love this thing. I am not a fan of the bulb. The bulb, I feel like I push it in, too, you push it in too far, those things get disgusting and dirty. I actually opened up the one from the hospital and it was disgusting and he's literally only a month and a half old and it already got all bacteria and nastiness inside of it because it's really hard to clean those bulbs. So this is clear, you can see inside of it, you know what's going in it, you easily, super easy to clean this. You can use what you use to clean the bottles with. Um, to clean this guy and it is super super great. It's also BPA free and like I said the, the filters are disposable for sanitary purposes so absolutely love this guy. I think it's fantastic. It also comes with four extra filters when you buy um, when it comes with it um, but they do also sell a pack with 20 filters so that way if you run out of those four you have a pack of 20 that you can always purchase to refill it up which is great. Um, so that is the snot sucker. I love it for the nose freedom. So they also have a Medi Frida, which is called the Acidose Pathifier. Um, so this is what it is. I have yet to use this um, just because he hasn't needed to be getting any medicine, but I know that I will be possibly using it soon um, because little man has to get his shots. Um, so usually sometimes babies run fevers when uh, shots are given. So I know that's going to be coming soon. Um, the good thing about this is that it's a pacifier as well as a syringe in one. You just pop in the syringe to the side of this, the pacifier that the little um, entranceway goes for and it makes it so that way um, the medicine shoots to the side of his mouth and not directly in because that's how you cause them to spit up. So that's really helpful when you don't have to fuss and fight and try to figure out, oh my god, am I putting the syringe in too far to get the medicine into his, the side of his mouth and stuff and not in the front to make him not spit up all the medicine that you're just giving him. Then the pacifier works great for babies that love pacifiers. Rain is a little bit iffy with pacifiers, but he'll take it if I give it to him. Um, not for long, but he'll still take it. Um, so it's nice that, you know, I can give this into his mouth in the meantime and press it and give him that, that um, Tylenol when needed. Um, or any medicine that he's going to be needing in the future is going to make it very simple and very easy. Um, it does have measurements on the syringe, so it's easy to measure out what you need, as well as an easy clean syringe. I haven't actually seen a syringe that has a center part like this, which makes it super easy to clean, as well as the pacifier, um, as well as BPA pre, and it's CPSC approved, which is great. Um, Love it. You can also take the syringe out and it can also be a bobo. So if he's still sucking on that bobo and he's content, just leave it in his mouth and when he's done with it, you can take it off and make sure it gets cleaned out um, for the next use. It also has a nice little tab to cover up the medicine hole so that way um, no dirt or grime can get into that hole when you're not using it and you're just using it as a standard pacifier, which is great because it has that that great um, nipple that usually that babies prefer anyways over other pacifiers so which personally I can say rain prefers pacifiers that look like this anyways so um, you know I know that when that time comes I'm gonna have a really great tool to use for it um, so that is the Acidos patch of pacifier um, with the Medi Frida from Frida baby um, what else that comes in that kit is also their breathe uh, Frida um, which comes with the snot wipes and the vapor rub so the snot wipes um, come inside that kit and it comes with 12 wipes. Um, these you can't use until they're three months or plus older, um, which is understandable. Babies' noses are really sensitive and their skin is very sensitive in the beginning, so to put vapor rub may be a little bit too much for the little ones that are under three months. Um, the vapor rubs actually have some really great um, components into it that I personally use on my own daily basis, like with my own um, 
you know, soaking salts or lotions or candles that I put on when my husband get, he has really bad allergies, and sometimes I do. Um, in those certain times of the year, even when you're sick, so those certain scents and those certain oils that are in there, um, they are in this in too. So it's that peppermint and eucalyptus, which is super soothing and super comforting when you can't breathe or you have a headache from a sinus cold or you're just having congestion. Um, usually the peppermint and eucalyptus is the way that I always go when me and my husband don't feel well. Um, and we need kind of some relief for soothingness and with your um, sinuses. And that's something that's really great. It also has chamomile, aloe, and vitamin D for cooling, which is really, really great. Especially the chamomile kind of really helps out the soothing, especially when you're putting it directly on a baby's nose. Chamomile is something I always look for when I personally use my own kind of like wipes for my nose or anything that you know I put on myself. Chamomile I know is really great, as well as aloe. Aloe is great for your skin and the vitamin D. Um, that's put on there is really great for it so that way you know if their nose is a little bit red um, you know usually I make myself my own little DIY vitamin D and aloe I'm not sure that I usually put around my nose and my uh, above my lip when I'm sick because that's the part that gets really dry and it gets really uh, rubbed out especially when you're blowing your nose so much um, as well as these ones that have cotton fibers um, that are you know really soft to the touch for your little one um, so that is the the vapor wipes which you know I'm really I'm you know I'm curious to try these um, I haven't tried it because my little one's not sick yet so I hope he does not get sick um, so that way I don't have to use them but maybe even if I'm if I ever get a you know a stuffy nose maybe I'll try them on myself because it has such great components and such great elements to it that I feel like will make you know sick time a little bit easier to manage if God forbid that date came. You know, babies always get sick. Um, you know, little ones, they put things in their mouth and stuff like that. So I know eventually I would have to use them. I just hope this thing comes soon. <laughs> um, so the vapor rub um, comes in a bomb. So it kind of looks like a deodorant stick. It's kind of cool. It, it's a lot easier to use in a tub, like if you have um, Vicks vapor rub. They usually, really, like I've used when growing up, you know, uh, we used to call it vaporu. Um, so, you know, it's really nice to see that it's like in a little easy use deodorant stick that you don't have to stick your finger in it. And if you're like me who has nails, um, they're not long right now because, you know, I have a newborn. But before I used to keep my nails really, really long. Um, and a lot of times if I have to use baby rub, it's really hard to kind of get it out of a tube or a cylinder. Um, I try not to use things that you stick your finger in it versus a pump. Um, so this is really nice, the fact that you can just, you know, rub it on like a bomb. Um, it's organic eucalyptus and lavender rosemary oil to help your baby breathe. Rosemary oil I know is really great for your senses. It's really great for you overall as well as lavender is super calming and super soothing. So sorry the video got um, cut out. I didn't realize it was stopped recording. But I do use a lavender um, essential oil that I do put in his humidifier um, and diffuser. Um, to kind of help him breathe at night and it's super helpful. So the fact that this has lavender in it was so great. Um, I really enjoyed uh, the fact that I saw that on there. Um, I am a personal fan of lavender and I think it was a great thing that it's in that. Um, and I think it's gonna be really helpful. Okay guys, this is my review of these great Frida Baby products. I hope you enjoyed this video and if it did help, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you enjoyed it and want to keep watching more of my videos in the future, subscribe and hit that bell so you know first thing when a video comes out. Also leave your comments down below with any kinds of feedback, as well as any questions or suggestions and your personal experiences with these products that you may have. Follow me on Instagram at Mommy's Mojo and join my Facebook group page, all the links done in the description down below. Thanks for stopping by and I'd love to see you next time. Besitos!